Knowing our lesser qualities, accepting what we have been and what we have done is not a death sentence. We can change. We will change when we have a higher power in our lives to deal with self-centered fear and ask him to remove those newly uncovered and discovered shortcomings. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider. We remember we were saved by our higher power. Self-will didn't work to get us sober. May 9th, thought for the day. We alcoholics used so little self-control when we were drinking. We were so absolutely selfish that it does us good to give up something once in a while. Using self-discipline and denying ourselves a few things is good for us. At first, giving up liquor is a big enough job for all of us, even with God's help. But later on, we can practice self-discipline in other ways to keep a firm grip on our mind. But later on, we can practice self-discipline in other ways to keep a firm grip on our minds so that we don't start any wishful thinking. If we daydream too much, we'll be in danger of slipping. Am I practicing enough self-discipline? Meditation for the day. In material things, you must rely on your own wisdom and that of others. In spiritual things, you cannot rely so much on your own wisdom as on God's guidance. In dealing with personalities, it is a mistake to step out too much on your own. You must try to be guided by God in all human relationships. You cannot accomplish much of value in dealing with people until God knows you are ready. You alone do not have the power or wisdom to put things right between people. You must rely on God to help you in these vital matters. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may rely on God in dealing with people's problems. I pray that I may try to follow his guidance in all personal relationships. As alcoholics, we understand all too well the lack of self-control that comes with our addiction. We were so consumed with the desire to drink that we often neglected our responsibilities, relationships, and even our own health. Our selfishness blinded us to the consequences of our actions, and it led us down a dangerous path. Once we decided to seek help and work toward sobriety, we realized that self-discipline was a necessary component of our recovery. Key to self-discipline is where we apply it. We learn to make prayer and meditation part of our day morning and night at a minimum. We must stay connected to him or all the discipline in the world will not keep us sober. Giving up alcohol was a monumental task for each of us, but with the help of a higher power, we were able to overcome this obstacle. We learned to rely on God and our support systems to keep us accountable and motivated. Giving up alcohol was only the first step in our journey toward recovery. We also needed to practice self-discipline in other areas of our lives to prevent us from slipping back into our old ways. One way to practice this is to deny ourselves certain things that we may crave or desire. This may seem counterintuitive, but it can be a helpful tool in recovery. By learning to say no to our impulses, we can gain a sense of control over our actions and thoughts. We can also learn to appreciate the value of delayed gratification which can be beneficial in other aspects of our lives. It's important to note that practicing self-discipline should not be taken to an extreme. We don't need to deprive ourselves of everything that brings us joy or satisfaction. It's about finding a balance and recognizing when our desires are becoming a threat to our sobriety. If we notice that we're spending too much money on material possessions, it may be time to practice self-discipline and limit our spending. We can avoid financial stress, and the temptation to use alcohol as a coping mechanism. Another way to practice self-discipline is to maintain a firm grip on our minds. We often engage in wishful thinking, 
fantasizing about the life we could have if we were able to drink without consequences. This type of thinking can be dangerous and lead us down the path of a relapse. By recognizing these thoughts and redirecting our focus, we can prevent ourselves from slipping back into old habits. We ask ourselves, where is God in the equation? God is in the pause. Maintaining a firm grip on our minds also means being mindful of our surroundings and the people we surround ourselves with. As the big book says, in dealing with personalities, it is a mistake to step out too much on our own. You must try to be guided by God in all human relationships. We recognize that we alone do not have the power or wisdom to fix all our relationships. We must rely on a higher power to guide us in these matters. This means being open to feedback and suggestions from others, particularly those who have experience in recovery. We should be willing to listen and learn from their experiences and insights. We also need to be mindful of our own actions and how they may impact those around us. By practicing self-discipline in our relationships, not exercising our character defects, we can build stronger connections and avoid causing harm. Restraint of pen and tongue is wise when we have disagreements with our loved ones and others in our circle. The key to practicing self-discipline is to rely on a higher power for guidance and support. We understand the powerlessness that comes with our alcoholism. And we recognize we cannot achieve sobriety on our own. We need the help of a higher power to guide us through the ups and downs. By praying for guidance and relying on God's wisdom, we can make decisions that align with our values and goals. Self-discipline is a crucial component of our recovery as alcoholics. Keeping our will aligned with our higher powers gives us strength to exercise self-restraint. We must remember to live unselfishly and not make everything about us. Consider. We remember we were saved by our higher power. Self-will didn't work to get us sober. May 9th, thought for the day. We alcoholics used so little self-control when we were drinking. We were so absolutely selfish that it does us good to give up something once in a while. Using self-discipline and denying ourselves a few things is good for us. At first, giving up liquor is a big enough job for all of us, even with God's help. But later on, we can practice self-discipline in other ways to keep a firm grip on our mind. But later on, we can practice self-discipline in other ways to keep a firm grip on our minds so that we don't start any wishful thinking. If we daydream too much, we'll be in danger of slipping. Am I practicing enough self-discipline? Meditation for the day. In material things, you must rely on your own wisdom and that of others. In spiritual things, you cannot rely so much on your own wisdom as on God's guidance. In dealing with personalities, it is a mistake to step out too much on your own. You must try to be guided by God in all human relationships. You cannot accomplish much of value in dealing with people until God knows you are ready. You alone do not have the power or wisdom to put things right between people. You must rely on God to help you in these vital matters. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may rely on God in dealing with people's problems. I pray that I may try to follow His guidance in all personal relationships. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.